thank you for tuning in. We're about to explore a climbing technique that goes by a few different names, including the pullover, the pull around, the bar rollover, and in move nat, the roll up. It involves jumping up to a branch, kicking your legs up over, and getting on top. In ninjutsu, the Japanese art of the ninja, this movement is a fundamental part of the technique called Sora Tobi. You don't necessarily have to be able to do a roll up in order to practice it. There's a few exercises that you can use in order to strengthen the pattern. We'll start with the eccentric roll up, or I guess the roll down. The idea is to go in the opposite direction that you'll be going in order to strengthen the neurological pattern when you're trying to pull yourself over. So first just get on the bar however you can. It doesn't really matter what technique you use and you don't have to be on a high bar like this. It can be chest or even hip height. Once you get up there in a dip position, you can rest your hips on the bar and then roll halfway over before adjusting your grip. Make sure you have a firm grip with your hands before letting your legs down. It's best to keep the more physically exhausting movements at the beginning of your workout so you don't burn yourself out before you get to them, like the pull-up. Try and get your collarbone to the bar and make sure your knees are moving with it. Don't cross your feet. After about 6 to 10 repetitions of pull-ups, you can return to your eccentric roll-up. Again, remember, it doesn't matter how high your bar is or how you're getting up there. The important thing is to focus on your center of gravity and make sure you have a firm grip before you let your legs down so you don't roll right off the bar. Leg raises are a vital part of this uh, exercise, but make sure you're not keeping your legs straight, bend your knees and bring your knees into your chest. To uh, progress from this, you can also do your knee raise all the way up to the bar. And try to touch your knees or shins to the bar. Try to do three reps of each of these if you can do the progression. And it's okay to get off the bar uh, and uh, take a break and get back on as well. You don't have to do them in a row. If you can get your knees to the bar or shins to the bar, try and straighten your legs. So I touch my shins to the bar and then I straighten my knees and I try to keep contact before lowering down. And one more time going back to the eccentric roll up. Remember to be mindful of your center of gravity during this exercise. It's a bit of a risky one. Putting your pelvis on the bar, rolling your hands under before you let the momentum carry your legs down. And remember, the stuff that we're doing can be pretty tough on the hands, so you want to maintain your calluses. In between some of these sets, you can massage or rub your calluses or slap your hands together, and they'll feel a bit tender, but doing this will help to break apart the layers of skin underneath and prevent them from ripping. Finally, we'll save the easiest stuff for last, so this is a dead hang and a scapular pull up. So you're keeping your elbows straight and you're trying to pull your ears away from your shoulders, make your neck as long as possible, and then drop it back into the relaxed hang. After you've done a few of those, you can try threading the needle. So pulling your head through between your two arms and arching back. So let your legs hang down and you're just using your scapula to pull your head and spine through and back, looking up. If you're still brimming with energy, you can repeat the entire circuit or pick a few of the exercises to focus on. I'm not going to go into detail about the technique of the roll-up, but I will talk about one of the practical applications, a technique from ninjutsu called the Sora Tobi. This technique is used to evade pursuers by escaping up into a tree. You use the roll-up technique because it's the fastest way to get up, and I would get yanked down by my legs if I tried this because I am still way too slow working on it. The idea is to get up into the tree uh, to out of the reach of your pursuers and then throw rocks and stuff while using the trunk of the tree as cover if your opponents have projectiles. Once your opponents move away from the tree or get a little bit hurt by the stuff you threw at them, you can jump down away from the tree and continue your escape with a little more space between you and the people who are chasing you. That's just one little example 
of what you could use this for. A little example that probably I'll never use it for, but it's still a fun exercise. There are countless exercises and movements that can help develop this skill. Not just climbing exercises, but other categories of movement as well. So if you've discovered anything or if you practice these exercises and you come up with an insight, please share in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.